So this is the shirt, the shirtless video. So I was just looking that New Jersey was trying to pass around legislation that if your car is too loud, based on somebody who lives too close to a busy road, that it sounds like the vehicles are driving through their house. Move. You should have never purchased a home on a busy highway. That's what you get. Right? That's just like you buying a home next to the subway or the train station. Like, seriously. So why does it have to become law? That is stupid. And the fines were 500 up to $500 in jail time. <laughs> That's funny. Well, New Jersey does not have a safety or an emissions a safety inspection. And if you go through an emissions test, loud exhaust systems pass in New Jersey. So what's the proper fix? Getting more people to have the state have a safety and in, in, uh, a proper safety inspection along with an emissions test, right? So New Jersey is actually to blame for this. There's so many POSs driving around on the road, let alone more construction, more, you ready for this, immigrants and migrants driving heavy equipment around. Right? That's the truth, right? I'm sure you've all noticed when you go to your local convenience store for fuel and coffee that when you look around, there's a lot more immigrants around. And what are they all driving? It's it's the truth. They're all driving F six hundreds, diesels, big trucks, landscaping equipment. The fuck do you think's gonna be? It's gonna be loud. What you move next to a busy highway? What do you think it's gonna be quiet? No. You you buy a property next to a fire department. Do you think it's gonna be whisper quiet? No. Wake up, America. Why would you torture somebody like that? Seriously. So, I think that's a bit aggressive. Um, I mean, what if you're driving around a 19, let's say, uh, let's just pick a 1900s vehicle. There really was no exhaust system on there, and they're loud. That's the way the vehicle was produced, right? Or how about fire trucks? They're loud. Municipalities, heavy equipment is loud. That goes on all day long. So I think there's a little bit aggressive there for, for them to say that. Now, driving around with your stereo system blasting and vibrating people's houses and windows, I could do that for 10 blocks from my house with my stereo if I choose to. So I would be an offender of that. And I might just drive around the neighborhood and do that one of these days and see how people like that. See if I can't rattle their, their, uh, their knickknacks off of their wall. Does that sound like fun, April? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I will just do that. But how stupid is that? So only because I'm following this, this is like, if it's loud to you, it may not be loud to others. And if you moved, you bought a house on a busy highway, it's your own fault. What did you expect? Horse and buggies driving up and down your street and, and EV vehicles, battery cars? That that Those days aren't coming. You need to sell your property and move to the mountains or move into the woods where... The crickets will be your loudest excuses, you know, for complaining. The crickets are too loud. Um, so, yeah, that was stupid. Um, and why is that? Is there because there's more unemployed people home and they have more time to bitch about shit? Like, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. The highway out front of my shop is so loud with traffic going by, I can't hear cars properly in my shop. So they are all are they all breaking the, breaking the law? Like people drive down the road and their tires are so loud. Uh, and if you heard it, and that's on heavy equipment, Jeeps and trucks like that because their tires are in such bad condition that they're so loud you can hear them humming and vibrating over everything else. And your house. And you, how do you fix all that? You have a proper safety inspection. Um, that's the easy fix. You know, and then what do you do about cars that are that are old. They have to be exempt. They weren't designed that way. You know, my car is how old did you say my car was? Is it 38? An 86 to 96 is 10. 2006 is 20, right? It's almost 30 years old. So it was designed quiet, but I made it loud on purpose. So what? A lot of people drive around. Some of these cars today come with exhaust systems that have factory modifications that you can go through sport comfort 
uh, race options, all that. So, I mean, you know, people who were complaining, if you had 300 people complaining about somebody in the neighborhood, I mean, I would think that it's, some, it's time to do something about it. But if you have one Karen that's crying that the road that they purchased their house next to is too loud, then Karen needs to sell their house and move someplace else where there's not so much traffic. Yeah. Right? Stupid. Stupid. But then they would actually take the time to sit down and talk about this shit when you let crimes go on every day. Every day, places are getting robbed and you let it go on and do nothing about it. But let's sit down and, and, and crucify the guy that has a loud, loud car. I mean, I'm sure the stereo system could, could get on people's nerves, but somebody who's driving down your street for... A split second. That's just the way the world is, people. I'm just saying, anytime. So if we lived on Haddonfield Road, should I call the cops every day? That every time someone drives by with a loud car? Oh, this blue Chevy Nova drove by. He's loud. Oh, this other pile of crap with no inspection sticker that should have an inspection sticker on it. With the wheels that sound like they're falling off and the exhaust system's loud. Uh, you guys better go get that guy, too. No, you tell that person that's where you you chose to live. It's time to f choose another place to live. That's how I feel. But we're gonna see how this plays out. So I ordered a, a decibel meter for myself just so I'm educated and protect it. I did. It's coming. I ordered it, and I'm gonna test my own vehicle. And then the next time someone pulls me over and says my car is too loud, I'm gonna say that's just a matter of opinion unless you can prove it. If they can't prove it, maybe I'll do a video and prove it to them that my car isn't too loud. It's time to eat.